Good Monday morning, everyone. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. Today is January the 22nd. Um, if you're like me, you're probably just glad to be able to get out of the house and go back to work. Um, if you're not from East Tennessee, we got about nine inches of snow last Monday and Tuesday. Um, and you always hear, you know, jokes about how the South shuts down when it snows. Well, that's true. We are not equipped to handle that. So, um, been a little stir crazy for the past few days. Um, when it first hit, I didn't get out of my house for like three days because I couldn't get out of my driveway. Um, but I'm glad to be back at work, glad to get back into a routine. It's hard to believe that we're three weeks into a new year already. But let's check and see what's been going on in real estate the first three weeks of 2024 here in Hamblin County. We have had 32 new listings that have went on the market. 17 of those are already under contract. The average list price for those homes has been around 282,000. The median list price has been around 259. We have had 33 price changes already this month. The average is running around 18,000 and the median is 16,000. Um, that means how much they've reduced the prices by. We have 37 homes that have already went under contract in the month of January. And, you know, last week, if you were here, like, you weren't really getting out and showing houses because you didn't know what the streets were going to be like. So, I'm going to say the majority of that actually happened the first two weeks of the month, uh, which is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, but we did have 37 that have went under contract so far. 23 homes have actually closed. Uh, the average sold price was around 295000 with 71 days on the market. The median sold price was almost 296000 with 39 days on the market. Uh, we've had 11 homes that either expired, withdrew, or were canceled this year. Um, we've had five homes that were under contract, but... The contract fell through for whatever reason, and those have come back on the market. Two of those are already under contract again. Right now, we currently have 94 homes that are active and available for sale. We have 78 homes that are under contract. So, let's put that in perspective. Compare it to 2023, right? We had 27 homes that had closed for the same time period in 2023. Um, so, we're actually down about four closings, but... A lot of our title companies, mortgage offices were closed last week due to the snow. So I think we're going to see an uptick in that um, as this week goes on. But last year, the average sold price up to this point in 2023 was 249000 with 62 days on the market. And the median sold price was 250000 with 37 days on the market. So we are seeing um, a little bit longer time on the market this year compared to last. I don't think that's anything significant at this point because we're only three weeks in, right? Um, but I did find another statistic that I kind of found interesting. Of those 23 deals that closed, um, nine of those homes sold within 30 days of being on the market. Like they went active and they actually sold within those 30 days. Um, of the, with that nine that sold, the average list to sold price ratio was 100.5%, which means they actually got a little bit above their list price, okay? Those homes that sold after being on the market between 31 and 60 days, there were five of those. Those sold for 99.7% list to sell price ratio. Um, and then we had four that sold with 61 to 90 days on the market um, and their average list to sold price ratio drops to 95%, okay? And then we had several that, you know, they had actually been on the market 91 plus days that sold. But I tell you that just to explain to you again how important it is that you price your home properly, you prepare it for sale properly, and you use a professional photographer. I was looking at some homes last week that were going on the market and, you know, $900,000 homes, million dollar lake houses. 
and these agents are using cell phones to take those photos and it absolutely blows me away. Number one, if I'm going to sell my house, you know that those people are looking on Realtor.com, they're looking on Zillow, they're looking at these online portals to see kind of like what homes are selling for because that's what sellers do when they get ready to sell. They're looking to see what their home's going to be priced at and what the competition is, right? So if you're looking through those photos, you obviously should be able to tell the difference between professional photos and cell phone photos. And it just blows me away that somebody allows a realtor to come into their home to list, you know, their most valuable asset and allows that agent to use a cell phone. Um, I think I would just be like amazed that that still is still happening here. But um, if you will use a professional photographer, it is going to make your house look better. It's going to help you get more buyer traffic. Cell phone photos are not going to tell the true picture of a house. Um, they don't, we don't have the lighting to use that a professional photographer does. We don't know the right angles to use. And it amazes me, you know, you're looking through these photos and it's like, are you selling the furniture? Because that's what you've got the camera pointed at. You're giving me a great shot of the dining room table and the china hutch, but I'm pretty sure those are not going to go with the house. So, you know, pay attention to what your realtor talks about when they're coming in and you're talking about listing your property. Are they giving you suggestions on what you need to do to get your house ready to sell? Or are they just like, oh no, it's fine. I'll just take photos while I'm here today. Because they need to give you ideas of what you can do to maximize the profit you're going to make on your house. Okay. So that goes back to the three P's that I've been talking about. Price your home, prepare your home, and use professional photography. So um, if you have specific questions about what to do to get your home ready to sell this year and go on the market, then please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to come out. We'll walk through your house together. You can, you know, tell me things that you think you need to do, and then I can let you know if that's going to be worth your while or not. And then we can also discuss things maybe that you're not thinking about doing that I think would be a good idea and help you get more money for your house. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. You can leave a DM, you can leave a comment, um, or you can always call or text me, 423 748 8811. It's still pretty chilly out there this morning, so make sure you guys stay warm. I know I'm looking forward to the increase in temperatures this week, and I bet you are too.